I'm only allowed to do one exercise for the rest of my life in the weight room. And I was allowed to pick it. That's easy. Turkey get up with the kettlebell. Why? Does everything. Arm strength. Core activation. Glute strength. Balance. Stability. Leg strength. What's invaluable is the fact that it is so single arm and it is so unilateral between the sides. It's a great way to pick up strength imbalances between the sides. Perfect example. My right arm, post shoulder circuit, two years, but it'll never be the same. Really struggle with that stability through the right side. Left side, not so much. A great example though. So 20 kilos is about my limit at the moment because the next one up to 24. I have previously done it with the left arm, but I can get nowhere near with a good rep on the right side. So we stick with the left, with the 20 kilo for a little while. A little while longer anyway, and then slowly build up. Once I'm able to do 10 unbroken on the right hand side, well, we'll have another go for 24 kilo. But for now, really concentrate on your movement. The get up is a slow, methodical movement to work on getting things done correctly. I'm going to back it off and I'm going to show you some of the sticking points. One of the main sticking points I see with people doing the get up is they're in too much of a hurry to stand up. Right? And what that does is it leads to imbalances. Um, most people are afraid to grab hold of the kettlebell because they, they're not getting that lock out in the arm and the shoulder capsule. And as I said, they're in a hurry, in a dead set hurry to get up onto their feet. Whereas if they just took their time and allowed their body to catch up whenever with each movement, they'll get the job done a lot better. So here we go. Up, here we go, step by step. So first movement, as you know, arm straight up, knee on the side, side of the bell. First movement, thrust up. In this position here, perfect time to set. Get that shoulder back, arm straight up. You'll notice that the arm looking here is vertical to the ground still. Popping up onto the hand. Arm changing position, but it's still vertical. From here, pushing through that right leg, up into a glute bridge. Reset balance, so a little bit of an over balance, but you just take your time, you can get it. That front foot through, then comes to onto the knee. This is where most people make their first mistake. Here is a great position to actually regain your balance if you've lost it, get it set, pop up into that position, and then do the, the rest of the get up. What I see more often than not though, is people coming from here, straight into like this, and this is where they lose that extension through the shoulder, and they stand correct like that. And that there, I find that harder. Versus when you, when you take your time, I'll swap sides. When you take your time, from here, bring that foot through, a lot easier. And from there, it's a straight stand up. Versus coming through, 
from here to here, it comes down to a mobility issue and opposite glute strength. If you haven't got the power to thrust that leg up to actually give yourself room to get that through, you're more than likely to stick the foot there. So really be really thrust that bum up in the air and work at getting that, that hip through. And then like I said, coming from position here to, I call it the, the midpoint. So we get that knee down on the ground. So we've got three points of contact on the floor. It's the most stable part. Shoulder or arm is still directly up from here. Bring that foot up, straight up into that lunge there. And from there, it's just a standard old overhead lunge. Up. Step back down, hands there. Again, great reset point. Through, arm, bum, shoulder, there, and lower. 